Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, basically we of course did a activation video on Windows 10 but what happens on Windows 11 if first of all you're not activated and what can you do to activate it if you feel like you would like to go to Windows 11 maybe you have a new PC um, there's a few things you can try so of course first of all if you do have a new PC chances are you have to buy a license for Windows and that is the way to go usually on a brand new computer but maybe there's something you can do if you have a Windows 10 machine or an older Windows 10 machine lying around because that can be used to activate your Windows 11 so basically if you're not activated first of all you'll see a watermark on the bottom right your PC will actually prevent you from going into the personalization, into settings to change the wallpaper, things like that. There are a few other settings that won't work. But overall, Microsoft doesn't stop you from using it. You'll be able to install your programs. You'll be able to install the things that you use. You'll just be annoyed from time to time and reminded that you need to be activated and not counting that, not activating Windows. According to the Terms of Services is that means it's you're illegal basically now how do you know if you are activated in Windows 11 so that actually has changed in Windows 10 you had to go to the Windows update tab to get the activation status in Windows 11 you go to your settings and you actually have it right there in the system tab where you'll see that if you go down you'll have activation just click here it's going to tell you activation state and it has a little drop down menu that it can show you how it's activated so it's activated with a digital license linked to my microsoft account once again a digital license means it took a snapshot of your hardware and the activation went to microsoft with all the information and the product key and it knows that the machine you have is a machine that's already previously been activated so that means no need to have a product key once you're activated, even if you uh, wipe out the hard drive, change your hard drive, completely reinstall from scratch, once it's active on the internet, the activation state is going to go and it's going to see, oh, yeah, I've been activated here. Just activate again. Now, if you have a Windows 11 that's not activated, if you have a Windows 10 product key, that will work. Since Microsoft had announced that Windows 10 users could go to Windows 11, of course, meaning you had to have minimum requirements. But if you did go to Windows 11, it's not an activated state. Well, look around. Maybe you have a product key for Windows 10 that is available. And if so, enter that product key. So at that time, if it's not activated here, you can click change product key. Enter the product key for Windows 10 that you have available. And chances are you're going to activate Windows 11 as the Windows 10 product keys work with Windows 11. It doesn't work with Windows 7 or 8 product keys. And for that, you would have to go through a set of stages. And if you want to go through that trouble, there is another way of getting Windows 11 activated. If you have a Windows 7 product key, whatever the product key, um, make sure that you move on to Windows from Windows 7 or Windows 8 to Windows 10 on that machine. So what you need to do is basically install Windows 8 or 7. And once it's activated, if you have that availability, you can move on to Windows 10. And then from Windows 10, you'll be able now to freely jump to Windows 11. So technically, there is a step for Windows 7 to Windows 11 but it's a long process it doesn't work on every pc because a lot of pcs don't support windows 7 anymore but it's a long shot that you can try if you really want to go through the pain of doing all of this but windows 10 product key should work if you have one and of course um, once it's activated you're fine and again if you're not activated the way microsoft works is that your windows is still going to continue working it's just that uh, what's going to happen is you're going to get a watermark on the bottom right saying that you're not activated. You're going to get pop-ups regularly. You're going to get a not activated status when you restart the machine. 
things like that. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.